Nightwish the Siren from End of an Era. Definitely my shirt. By the way, guys, I, I always love dipping back into some old early Nightwish stuff, especially when it includes imagery of the sea, which we know is so powerful for Tuomas, when we hear Tarja singing in a style that's really, really special for her voice. This works really, really well for how she sings. It's this soaring siren call. We hear it at the beginning. We've heard Floor do these similar techniques for songs that were written for Tarja as well. It's It's a really lovely type of onset i'll give you time to redeem that before we start the music again it's it's that really high right that's beautiful right yeah this is my spirit animal guys my spirit pokemon i think the shirt is definitely louder than that spike um and marco again playing the role of the human of the the earthly being that is being sucked into the siren song. I love it. I want to go back to those onsets real quick right here so that we can hear exactly what she's doing. She does them so beautifully. Very different than how Floor does it. Um, it this song, this stuff is clearly written for her voice, and it, I love, I love how it fits in with the texture. It's a totally different feeling than the later stuff that was written that Tuomas wrote, right? Not to mention Tuomas' use of chromatics. The use of chromatics in this is it, it emphasizes how exotic this character of the siren is, right? God, you guys, I, you guys scare me.
Yes. Thank you, Tarja. This is something we've never heard her do before. Hear this. I've never heard her do before. That's sick. I've never heard that versatility out of her sound. Again, emphasizing that strange and exotic nature. This is a more exotic form of vocal mode for her. This is more, this sounds like very Eastern. The harmonies sound Eastern. Yeah, it sounds almost Arabic. I don't know much about Arabic music, but um, the vocal sound, the sonic profile of this character that Tuomas has written, that, that Tarja is portraying here, is definitely... Um, is definitely more Eastern, more exotic, far away from what our sailor character, which I assume he's a sailor character just because of the idea of the siren and he talks about the wheel on the boat. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely more exotic and it's, it's tempting. It's, it's enticing, right? Because it's something strange and apart, really well composed. Um, this is awesome. This this is her dipping into a level of versatility we haven't heard, and I can totally appreciate that. It's so steely and passionate. Clearly, he's a sailor in a storm. He's going to die. He says, why tie myself to the wheel? Why why save myself in this case, right? Because there's this sweet sound in the ocean that's sucking me in, right? Why why try to save myself? I can go for this, this sweet release of the ocean. I didn't hear all of the text, so I, I'm just kind of paraphrasing what I thought I heard. Um, but yeah, man, it's such a powerful voice. It's it's almost like in the way he's singing now, is it takes that human very grounded sound he makes usually and adds this this additional cry into it you know that cry technique we often talk about it literally parallels with the sound you make when you cry it it feels that way when you sing that way and that's what we're hearing <laughs> if you try to do a cry and you you make a sound like that that's what's going to happen right damn anonymous Thank you, Anonymous. The fifteen dollar tip. That's awesome. But yeah, if you if you make that cry sound, it's not like that. That's very fake. That's very not good for your voice if you sing that way. We'll talk all about that after we get to this song, so you guys, I can update all our new friends on the meme, right, on the channel meme. <sighs> It's it's that feeling you get when you cry, but you turn it into uh, an artistic event. That's what we're getting from a Marco. That's that's another really great way to use the voice. All right. Guys, that was an awesome song. 